YouTube, man. It's your boy Nori back with a banger for y'all today. And today I'm coming at y'all with my 2K17 build in NBA 2K21. But before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub to Nori, man. Go ahead, drop a sub and a like on this video before the video even starts. Alright. Now, when it comes to Nori playing 2K17, I was a god. If you watch my YouTube short, bro, I was in my bag at all times when it came to 2K17. In my opinion, 2K17 was the most fun, while 2K16 is the best 2K. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all think is the best 2K down below in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all a chance to do it now because I know most of y'all do not watch to the end. So for all the people that usually watch to the end, you know, I know y'all gonna drop a comment regardless. But for all the people that don't, I'm telling y'all in the beginning, just let me know what y'all favorite 2K is. You feel me? I should get at least like 30 comments, bro. There's no way we don't get comments on this video. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all favorite is. But enough of me talking, you feel me? I'm going to go ahead and make this build. Obviously, if y'all watched the clips, y'all seen I was a point forward in my little YouTube short. Sadly, little young Nori, little Nori when he was a jit, he ain't know nothing about saving clips. So I don't got no more clips. That's the only clips I got. But I do got a whole lot of screenshots. Me dropping off mascots, me playing Aguilar, all types of stuff like that. But that's enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and make this build. I was a right-handed point forward. Uh... If you ever watch the Nori Bill video, but I don't gotta say it, bro. I don't gotta say it about that jersey no more. I don't gotta say it, bro. Let's go ahead and slide over here. Now, of course, the build system in 2K17 was was way better, honestly. It, it was just better. I don't know how 2K got to this where they had to simplify all of our builds, but I guess I gotta pick pure play making pie chart. The only thing about that is in 2K17, you could get bronze badges of every single you know what I'm saying every single badge you can have but obviously if it's not your primary it's gonna be bronze right if i could do that in this game y'all bro i'm telling y'all y'all couldn't tell me nothing but i picked the speed pie chart just because um the build was super fast honestly you know what i'm saying but uh what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and give yourself 25 playmaking because that's all you need in this game all you need is 25 playmaking that's good now, the shooting, we're going to max all that out because I promise y'all I was shooting like a sharpshooter on my point forward, bro. I was pulling from half with mad confidence, not even thinking about it, you feel me? Then, I don't want to speak on my defense too much, you know what I'm saying? Simply because I, I had the straps, bro. If you knew me in 2K17, you already knew how I was, bro. I don't got I don't got to talk too much, bro. That's all I'm going to say. I don't got to talk too much, bro. If you knew me, you knew me. If you didn't, you didn't, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to sit up here and say I was a comp player in 2K17, bro, but I'm telling you, if you saw me on that court, bro, I was getting a bucket every single possession, bro. I was cold on the twos. I ran up 20-game win streaks every single weekend, bro. Like, it was crazy, bro. But, like I said, I'm just chatting because I got to tell y'all something. It's nothing I can really tell y'all. I'm not telling y'all how to make a build, like a specific shooting build or whatever. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to tell y'all how to make my build. So, I got to let y'all know what I, was, what I was doing back in the day. You feel me? But, in 2K, I should be able to get... Uh, park dunks with a driving dunk like this i believe i think a 70 gives you a dry, uh park dunks and with park dunks your player gonna be a demigod on the iso bro i promise this is guaranteed demigod i promise all right now we going compact just because your clothes fit better when you compact your player just look i ain't like your player just look better rather than you making them burly with broad shoulders and all his clothes hang off his shoulders type stuff you feel me so go ahead and make them compact it's not like you're going to get contact dunks or nothing anyway you just look way cleaner on the court now this is the height is the most important part all right nori made a 6.8.4 point four because i want it to be different in 2k17 right the only thing about that in this game as y'all can see look at how the stats go down look at how the ball handling goes down it's gonna be trash matter of fact let me show you let me show you what happens when i make them when i make them 6.8 instead of 6.7 because i'm gonna i'm gonna make them 6.7 just because in this game I want to make them the best way possible. I don't want them to be a bum, right? Even if I go minimum wingspan, I have a 72 three-pointer with a 79 ball handling and an 86 speed. I'm barely speed boosting, right? Plus, I have to get 96 before I can get pro dribble moves. Then I can barely shoot. So, in my opinion, it's not worth it I'm trying to make my exact build. But we're going to make it as close as possible. You feel me? That's just one thing we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, two things actually. I'm, I'm one. I'm gonna make them six seven and two. In two K seventeen, weight, wingspan, all of that didn't really matter much. So, 
Ain't gonna lie, I think my player was like 200 something pounds, bro. Ain't gonna lie, bro. But in this game, we finna get as much speed and acceleration as possible. So we can go 188, which is one tick away from the acceleration going out. You feel me? So we can go 188. We're gonna go minimum wingspan, right? Or not even minimum. If you don't wanna go minimum, don't go minimum. You can go one tick above minimum. Or you can keep your uh, 70 drive and dunk in the middle. You feel me? I will go max wingspan just to resemble my my player as much as possible but a 69 three-pointer is not good enough to hit so we just gonna go with the minimum honestly so we can shoot as good as i did dribble as good as i did defense gonna be defense at the end of the day bro you six seven if you can't guard the majority of the people you're guarding are guards in this game anyway so if you can't play defense that's on you me i'm playing defense with minimum wingspan now you look at all these takeovers i don't see no takeovers except for one because if you knew about that grand badge, you knew about that grand badge. Simple as that, bro. I don't got to say too much. We we skipping past that. You know we picking play take. Now, of course, it's a point for it, bro. I, I don't have to say too much, bro. That's exactly what the build is, bro. It's a point for it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I will do my badges. Y'all let me... Matter of fact, you know how I told everybody who made it to the end of the video to leave... I mean, how I usually tell people at the end of the video to leave a comment, bro? Everybody that I told in the beginning of the video that already done clicked off and everything and all types of stuff like that, they left their little favorite 2K, bro. I need all the people that watch to the end to go ahead and tell me, do y'all want to see me grind this build out and take them to the stage, take them to the 1v1 court, take them to the park, anything like that? Let me know. Let me know down below in the comment section because I, I could do a little series with him. Honestly, uh, the game's getting low-key dead for me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be 100% honest when it comes to this build, bro. I, this is gonna bring back memories, bro. But enough of me chatting, bro. I chat at the end a little bit more. Let's go ahead and head into the badge. You feel me? So finishing badge, you only get one. Go ahead, throw in that silly finisher. Um, shooting badges. Now these three badges are mandatory for you to get buckets. All right, for you to shoot consistently, you need three these three badges, without a doubt. Right. Then when it comes to the rest of these last six available upgrades, what you wanna go ahead and do is throw in dead eye, cause you're gonna need dead eye. Then throw in that clutch shooter. And throwing that volume shooter, bro, you should be able to hit with this. If you can't hit with this, honestly, it's your fault for real. I'm telling you, these badges are good enough for you to hit. I've seen it with my own eyes. I shoot from deep. I even ran freaking point guard when I was running with subs on my P-Lock, bro. Like, these badges are good enough for you to shoot. I promise uh, you shouldn't be missing, right? Now, when it comes to the playmaking badges, if you are on the twos court, you should be running ISO on this build. Um, this build has no reason for you to run a screen. Uh, it's six seven right so you can blow by them and then get a dunk off and then if you need to shoot you can shoot it off the iso you feel me so this is really an iso build but if you want to run screens you go ahead and do that but in my opinion i suggest that you run iso with like a stretch or something so these are the badges i would run on the twos with a, a stretch on my team all right put gold diamond on put bailout silver put unpluckable hall of fame these are the badges i'm running or I'll even put bailout bronze, honestly, because it's uh cause it's ISO and put my Diamond Hall of Fame, you feel me? So you should be able to win every game if you know how if you know how to cook up on the ISO, bro, you'll be able to win every game. I promise you, bro. The defense in this game is so broken that when you ISO somebody that's smaller than you, you'll be getting mad blow bys. So when you blow by, you can get a dunk. If the center leaves the corner that's guarding your man's, you dot him in a corner. You got Hall of Fame Diamond, Hall of Fame Floor General. If your man's miss, he sucks drop them immediately now i'm playing but real talk though these badges right here get you the dub get you the job done on the twos court for sure now defensive badges this is what i'm running in my opinion clamps gold is not necessary you feel me i'm rocking clamps on silver uh i do it on my play shot all the time you really don't even need pick dodger but i'm gonna put it on just because even on my own play shot i'm telling you on my play shot i do not rock no pick dodger on the twos i simply just go on the court with like i just go on the court with clamps interceptor intimidator and and chase down artists those are the only badges i rock on my play shot and i still be getting stops but the fact that you have 10 instead of the seven that my play shot got we're gonna throw on pick dodge you feel me then what you want to do is put interceptor gold intimidator we'll just put it silver you feel me and then chase down on bronze now these badges alone should be able to get you through screens go, help you guard screens and everything and plus interceptor you can play the lanes you need you need that so you can play the lanes just because your team is probably going to be undersized if you run it with a shooter 
hey, if you run with stretch, your team gonna be undersized, so you gotta have that interceptor to get the lane. You feel me? You gotta get a stop. You gotta get a stop by any means possible. Honestly, you gotta get stopped any way you can. You feel me? So that interceptor is gonna bail you out a lot of times. But that's gonna pretty much do it for my uh, NBA 2K17 build. I transferred it over here to 2K21. Y'all go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section. Should I grind this build out and do a series on them, bro? Like, I know y'all be seeing everybody else around the community do series on their builds, but how many have you seen take their 2K17 build and turn it into a demigod on 2K21? Let me find out, bro. I might be the first. You feel me? So let me know down below in the comments. Should I do this? I'm thinking about starting it, but... I don't really know. I need confirmation from my subscribers, man. I appreciate all of y'all for watching the video for sure. So the, the least y'all could go ahead and do it. Give me some feedback. But that's going to wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping a lot. This whole video just yapping and yapping. I know y'all tired of it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for y'all. It's been your boy Nori. And uh, I'm out. Don't know why they keep doing me wrong. You got only one time in the room. And I told you that I